So I was waiting for someone to come downstairs so I could film the intro, but it looks like they're not coming downstairs, so I'm going to film the intro for this video. Don't really know what I'm doing. Hi guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial for you guys on this look right here. Kind of like a summer bronzed glow kind of inspired look thing. I don't know what it is, but you guys clicked on the title of this video, so you probably wanted to watch it, so... This is also a first impressions video on two products that I purchased the other day. These are the um, I Heart Makeup, I Heart Makeup, MUA um, Undress Your Skin Liquid Glow Highlight kind of thing, and the Max Factor Face Finity Foundation. Because basically, I've wanted to like invest in liquid kind of illuminator for my face for a while now because my powder makes my face super matte. Um, also please ignore my voice, I don't know what's happening to me, um, it's really awkward. I was going to get the L'Oreal one but the foundation that I wanted to get which was this one um, is more on the pricey kind of side in the drugstore although it was like £3 off. But yeah I saw this one and MUA I used to buy from all the time and I still do buy a few things from them so I thought I might as well give this a go and see what it's like. And for the foundation, a YouTuber I watch called Sife Does Nails, you've probably heard me talk about her videos in previous talk about her in previous videos of mine if you are a subscriber. But um yeah, she mentions the CoverGirl or she likes the CoverGirl um 3 in 1 foundation and she also said on her Snapchat that Max Factor is basically the same as CoverGirl and they have similar kind of foundation so I was like I'm gonna give this a go just to see what it's like. If you would like to find out my opinions on these two products and how to get this look then let's get on with the video. <laughs> so I don't know if I already mentioned but my um, windows are open because right now in England there is a massive heat wave and people in England are not used to heat like this. We're used to cold and rain. To be fair it was raining last night but yeah if you get any background noise windows open. To start off my makeup I'm going to prime my face with these two because these two primers just help everything like this one just helps my makeup stay tacky to my face although moisturizer's kind of done that and this one just helps to remove out any imperfections so I'm just going to go and do that now. Actually you're not going to use the Nivea Men or the Bio Shave Bar because my face is tacky already. Just like this, this wherever I get really big pores, and then I just like put it everywhere else. I primed my face. I'm going to do a little bit of color correction because my face is really red um, right now, and I'm just going to do that with the Freedom Green Camouflage Paint stuff. It's just green corrector stuff with my New Look Concealer Brush. there I've really been getting into color correcting more recently I don't know why but I just really like it then I'm just gonna buff that in with my real technique stippling brush then I'm going to use this um, MUA undress your skin illuminating liquid glow in the shade pink shimmer I've never used this before I thought I'd try it I tried like a liquid highlighter because my face can be like really matte sometimes so I thought I'm gonna give it a go in my brush that is escaping but I'm gonna give it a go because it's just something different and just something to make my skin look a bit more glowy during the summer months which is like a really nice pink thing it smells really nice so it smells like sun cream that's weird I'm just gonna dot this around my face and just blend it in It's really pink though, like really pink, oh my god. Super illuminating. Yeah, I like that, that's really nice. I'm gonna have to go wash my hands quickly because that is like all over me. I'm so gross. Ugh. For foundation, I'm going to be using my new foundation, which is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. That's a mouthful. Um, I have this in the shade Light Ivory, and I picked this up. My voice, oh my god, I don't know what is wrong with me. Yeah, I picked this up due to our Soph um, Does Nails, her recommendation, because she uses the CoverGirl one, and she said that Max Factor is near enough the same as CoverGirl, because in the UK we can't get CoverGirl, so I thought, I might as well pick this up and give it a try, seeing as it was on offer in Superdrug. This does look like it's going to be so like a bit too dark for me, even though it's the lightest shade. So I'm just going to mix in a few of my Body Shop Lightning Drops. No one told me it was going to be liquidy. What the hell? 
Like, can you see how liquidy that is? That is literally running down me. I'm so lost right now. I don't want to add any lightning drops in it because that is just going to like turn to water. Like, it's running down my hand. I'm just going to like dot this around my face and see what happens. I don't like this. I feel like because it's liquidy, it's just going to like cling to like all of my pores. I'm hoping it doesn't, but that's what it feels like it's going to do. I'm just going to blend this in with a um, damp beauty blender. It blend out as badly as I thought it would, but like, I don't know, I just don't like the formula of it. I think it's probably because I used to have a Revlon foundation and it was literally just water and it did not it did not work it was running down my hand like even worse than that one was but yeah i'm just gonna bend that in with a stitching brush and just ignore the dog's barking please <laughs> okay that's actually gone in really nicely and it's like really glowy as well because of the um liquid highlighter i put on underneath but i that's not as bad as i thought it would be to be honest it's super dark so i'm gonna have to work something out with that but otherwise, I really like that. That's good coverage as well. So I'm just going to set that with my all-time favourite loose powder, which is the MUA Loose Fine Setting Powder. I didn't even realise that, like, I used to love MUA products and I just stopped buying them because they were cheap and then I kind of, like, didn't like them anymore. But I don't know, I've gone back to them. Yesterday when I was in Superdrug, I was going to pick up the L'Oreal um, Liquid Glow things, but then... They're, I didn't realise how expensive they were and plus I needed to get a foundation. <gasps> Shit. Because <laughs> I also needed to get a foundation, um, I was looking around the super drug and I found the um, MUA ones. So, I got that and then I was looking for a loose powder ages ago in Superdrug, like probably two months ago. And the only one I found was this one and it works so well and it was only like five pounds. So like, you can't really complain. My family just came home but I shut the windows, so yeah. <laughs> I've got powder all over me. It's all gone over my bed, I feel like I'm just wasting it. So that's mattified me super well. But it's still like really glowy because of the highlight underneath. I really like that. Because this is a glowy, um, or more of a glowy tutorial, I've been using the Ringel um, Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. If you're an OG subscriber, you'll know I used to like use this all the time before I like started to get proper into contouring. My hair is an actual mess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and bronze my face up with this a bit because I don't know. I just really like it. a bit more i'm going to go in with oh god i almost dropped it my hula bronzer you guessed it um yeah just to add a bit more definition to like my cheekbones and just contour everything away a bit more i'm just going to do that with my real techniques foundation brush just because it's i don't know it's just you just feel like you can get a sharp line with things brush and just blend that upwards For highlight I'm going to use my I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter in the shade Goddess of Faith and this is just a nice champagne highlight um, if you watch my videos frequently you'll know I use this a lot yeah, I'm just gonna do that on an old brush thing I was going to order new brushes off eBay, but I genuinely didn't know what ones to get. So like, if you know any good brushes on eBay, then let me know. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows using my Freedom um, Brow Pomade because that is literally the only thing I use to fill in my eyebrows. Um, so yeah, BRB. <laughs> 
So I'm back and eyebrows are done. I have absolutely no idea if I'm in focus right now. I'm going to be using my I Heart Makeup Salty Caramel Palette. And just to warm up the crease at first, I'm going to take this shade here, this like mauve, mauve um, kind of shade. And then I'm just gonna make mix a bit of the orange and brown into the crease. And I'm just gonna do this using like three fluffy brushes. You never have enough blending brushes. the orange and the brown shades so this one and this one and just blend them into my crease just to warm up a little bit and make it a bit more orangey for summer. Now I'm just taking a bigger um, crease brush I'm going to take the brown just focus this more on the outer V. Now I'm going into an older palette and I'm using my W7 in the buff palette and I'm going to be taking the shade shade silk which is this silver shade here I don't know if it's going to be in focus it just like adds a lot more to your look I think I'm just going to use my finger and just place this in the inner corner of my eye I'm going to be using a mix of my two favourites, the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the Benefit Bare Real. This is a little sample one because my other one ran out and this is the only one I have left. Sad times for me. <laughs> yeah, I love these mascaras because it just volumises your lashes and just adds length to them and it's just everything you want in a mascara, just like this combo. Tomorrow I have to go into school for music which I genuinely meh but then after that we're going out for my friend's um, birthday meal because it was her birthday on Saturday um, so yeah we're going to Dean's Line for that, that should be fun I don't know why I'm making this like a chatty get ready with me now when the video is literally almost on I've noticed about that foundation is like it's creased a lot underneath my eyes so I don't know how that's going to last around my smile lines because I have really deep set smile lines. But I'm praying it should be okay because it just, it feels so nice on. But although I hated it at first, like when I pumped it out of the tube, it was horrible. But like, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like, I don't know. Lipstick, I'm going to be using my trusty favourite, my trusty, my trusty favourite, which is the matte lips, the matte, the MAC matte lipstick in Honey Love. Just a, like a really nice orangey brown nude kind of colour and it just suits me perfectly because Honey Love, oh not Honey Love, Velvet Teddy is too dark for me. I slightly overline my lips a little bit with the lipstick too. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and I don't know, it was kind of like a tutorial of first impressions kind of thing. I don't really know. <laughs> this is like my first kind of summer tutorial this year and my first kind of like summer glowy kind of look. I don't know why I like crossed my arms but yeah my first kind of like summer glow kind of look or bronze kind of thing. Um, so yeah let me know what you thought of this look in the comments down below and also leave some video suggestions because I am running out of ideas. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And subscribe to join the... I don't really have a name for my subscribers. I need a name for my subscribers. But yes, subscribe to join the family because it's such a nice one and we're always welcoming to new people. And I will see you next week in another video. But why am I going to do this? Bye!